your debt has been overpaid, your sin debt. Amen. Stay tuned to your daily grace inspiration message on feeding on Jesus International. Our reading Bible verse for today is taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 43 verse 25. I, yes, I alone will blot out your sins for my own sake and will never think of them again. Hmm. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 25. Did you also get the message? I will read that again. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 25. I, yes, I alone will blot out your sins for my sake and will never think of them again. And what are you saying? The Lord says to you, he will never think of your sins again. What do you have to say? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hmm. Today, I have some extraordinary good news for you today. Although you and I owed God in a sin debt that we could never pay, Jesus has already paid our debt. Listen closely, my brother, sister. Because of who Jesus is and the value of that one man, the price that he paid for our sins was and overpayment hallelujah all the sinners put together cannot compare with the value of that one man our lord jesus christ he overpaid it so much that we need never have the depth on our conscience ever again let me illustrate with a mean imagine that you have borrowed 50,000 pounds from a creditor and as time goes by you find that you cannot possibly ever pay the money back then one day a friend who is a billionaire hears about your debts and gives one million pounds to your creditor to pay off your debts now what has your friend done? Well, because he loves you, he has overpaid your debt to make sure that you will never feel the debt on your heart ever again. And that your creditor has no more reason to harass you to pay your debt. This is what Jesus has accomplished for, for us through his finished work on the cross. Jesus' payment has wiped out your entire life's sin, past, present, and future, once and for all. Perhaps in the past, you were not aware of the fullness of this gospel of grace. But now, I have conveyed the good news to you. It is not up to you to believe the message. You can respond in disbelief asking are you sure i have all this debt for such a long time and now you are telling me that it is all paid up or you can shout hallelujah and rejoice over this unmerited gift that has cleared your depths of sin completely beloved because jesus has already paid your sin debt fully do you know what you are doing each time you allow that debt to remind or if you are do you know what you do to yourself when you allow that debt to remain on your consciousness every time you are sin conscious you are insulting the payments of our lord jesus christ you are saying that it is not enough you are saying that the cross is not enough and you know what you are also insulting the one who received the payment of your sin debt. Each time, to, each time you try to pay off your sin debt that has already been paid, you are saying that God is not satisfied with Jesus' payments, even though the truth is that he is more than satisfied with Jesus' overpayment. Jesus is the beloved son of the living God. 
how can you say that his sacrifice is not enough? Does it really matter if you condemn yourself and allow your sin debt to remain on your conscience even after Jesus had overpaid it? Yes, it matters. Because apart from dishonoring the work of Jesus on the cross, sin consciousness makes you avoid God and can produce in your condemnation. It can produce in you condemnation. Sickness, sicknesses, diseases, depression, and a cycle of sin. Beloved, Jesus, being the Son of God, has overpaid your entire life sin once and for all. Believe the good news and draw near to your Savior today. The Word of God declares to you that you can have boldness to enter the holiest by the blood of Jesus. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 19. Today, in the face of whatever you need help with, you can draw near to God with a true heart in full assurance of it. Having your heart sprinkled from an evil sin stained cons conscience and receive God's tender mercies, grace and help. For all your needs. Hebrews chapter 10 verses 24. Amen. Share this video. The good news is your sin has been paid. The payment Jesus did for you at the cross is an overpayment. That is the good news. Amen.